let's do some work on that. So, so close your eyes, take a deep breath. And I'll invite everyone, unless you're listening to this in your car, um, <laughs> go ahead and close your eyes, take a deep breath. And now just allowing yourself to be present, allowing yourself to be aware of what's going on inside. Think about some goal that you have. So this book that you want to have. And imagine yourself having already achieved it. You know, see yourself holding that book or living in that house or looking at your online bank statement and seeing the amount of money you'd like to have in there, whatever that might be. Imagine you already have it. And following your breath through your body, just allow yourself to be aware of any resistance there might be there something that we never allow ourselves to look at. We just fantasize about the goal, but we never ask ourselves, why might I be afraid of it? Why might I resist it? Because the extent to which we don't have what we say we want tends to be the extent to which we're resisting it. And self-sabotage is simply misguided self-love. So we're trying to protect ourselves. When we sabotage ourselves from reaching our goals because some part of us is trying to protect ourselves from something we're afraid might happen. So just notice what you feel physically and what you feel emotionally. Notice where there might be some heaviness, some, some fear, some resistance. Notice any thoughts, beliefs, or memories that might come up about why you couldn't or shouldn't reach this goal. What do you think would be the downside? Imagine yourself taking the actions that you know you could take. Those actions that you are comfortable believing would move you in the direction of reaching that goal. See yourself taking that action. And again, following your breath of your body, notice where there might be some resistance. Notice on a scale of zero to 10, how much resistance might be there, either to taking the action or to getting the result. Notice where in your body you might feel that. Take a deep breath. Open your eyes and uh, just tap where I tap. So for the first round, I will mention what points we're tapping on. And then after that point, um, after we get to the top of the head the first time, I'll then move on with each statement. We'll move on to a different point and I'll move on to the eyebrow and then the side of the eye. But rather than going through the whole round, saying the points every time, I'm just going to do that the first time. And for those of you who are just listening without the visual and you're tapping along, don't worry about whether or not you're on the same point that we are. <laughs> it's okay. It's just not keep a, tapping away. You, yeah. You, you can't get it wrong. Even if you just tapped one point, you're going to get benefit. So. Okay, great. So tap in the side of the hand. Even though I'm resisting this goal, I choose to love and accept myself. Even though I'm resisting this goal, I choose to love and honor myself. Even though I'm resisting this goal, and part of me might say, what are you talking about? I have no resistance to this goal. I'm doing everything I can possibly do every day. And maybe not. And even though I might be resisting this goal, I choose to deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself and maybe anyone else who's contributed to this resistance. I tap in the eyebrow point. All this resistance to this goal, side of the eye, all this resistance to this goal, under the eye, all this fear of reaching this goal, under the nose. And part of me might say, under the mouth, I'm not afraid of reaching this goal. Collarbone. I absolutely want to reach this goal. Under the arm. So what's stopping me? 
top of the head. If I'm not doing everything I could possibly do, and then now moving through all the points, I'm open to the possibility that there might be some resistance there. I might have this goal up on my vision board. And I get excited when I look at that. And then I don't take action. It's not that I'm bad or stupid. It's not that I am weak or lazy. It's just that some part of me is saying, that's fine, you go ahead and fantasize about this. But it would lead to consequences. And it wouldn't be safe. So we're going to make sure this never happens. I'm not stupidly avoiding action. I am brilliantly avoiding action. <laughs> I am brilliantly making sure I don't have that book out there. <laughs> I'm avoiding all the feared consequences. It may be a fear of criticism. It may be a fear of judgment. It may be a fear of disappointment. What if it's not as good as I hope it is? What if people don't like what I put out there? Much safer to not find out. My lack of action on my goals is an act of self care based on misunderstandings. It's not a matter of now saying to myself, oh, yes, I'm protecting myself by avoiding my goals. Let's keep doing that. I'm clearing the fear of reaching my goals. I'm clearing my fears about taking action. All this fear that I won't get it right. All this fear that it won't be perfect. All this fear about how hard it might be. All this fear about what my friends and family might say. How will they relate to me if I'm a best-selling author? They might be jealous. They might expect things from me. There are all kinds of consequences to success. And so my lack of action just means that due to my programming, the consequences of taking action seem more painful than the consequences of not taking action. I already know what it's like to not have a book written. <laughs> So this is familiar. It may not be all that I think I want, but I'm comfortable with this. I've been handling this condition for years, but being a published author or whatever my goal might be, is unfamiliar. And I'm afraid of the unknown because I'm afraid I couldn't handle it. 
and I'm clearing that fear. Clearing this fear at a cellular level. And all the way back through my past. Back through all the times in my life that I somehow got the message I couldn't handle things. Because it's not true. I have handled everything that has ever happened in my life. Maybe not always as gracefully as I would have liked. But I handled it. The proof being that I'm here. I can handle taking action. I can handle it if my actions aren't perfect. And I can handle it if I succeed. I can handle getting these results. I can handle reaching my goals. Clearing my doubts about that. It's safe for me to take action. It's safe for me to move forward in body, mind, and spirit. Take a deep breath and let it go. Now with your eyes closed, just notice where you might have been feeling some resistance to taking action. And hopefully that's gone down. You can rate it again on a scale of zero to 10, whatever was stopping you from uh, taking action. And hopefully you can look at some of those actions and say, I'm going to get started on that today. I'm going to do some writing this week or whatever it might be. And as you imagine yourself having reached your goal, hopefully that feels more comfortable too. It even might feel awesome. It's like, wow, I can't wait to get started on this now. And also, as I said, the peeling the layers of the onion, you may just be more aware of some of the things that might have been stopping you, some of the fears and doubts that might have been there. And you can go and do some more specific tapping then on those. Maybe a, a memory of something you did well uh, or some goal that you achieved uh, when you were younger and there was some unfortunate consequence. You, you won a prize and your best friend didn't talk to you for three weeks or something like that. And somewhere in your memory, you got this message of it's not safe to succeed. So you can then tap specifically on that event and clear that out. Take a deep breath. Open your eyes if you haven't already. And uh, hopefully you feel greater freedom to succeed. Thank you. Thank you for leading that session with us, Brad. 